to embark on an epic adventure and explore the world of Blender on Android. I'm going to dive deep into the features and settings of Blender on Android and uncover the secrets behind each tab on what they really do, from rendering to modeling, and from materials to controls. Understanding each tab on Blender is something most people are trying to figure out, especially those who are new in Blender on Android and iPad. So up next is the simple tab and what they really do. First to delete the default cube is to click object and scroll to delete. And to add object go to add and add anything you want. Left side here is the move tab, rotation control, scale control and more. If you need to switch to material mode or wireframe option, up right here you find the option to switch to solid or material mode or wireframe. To change UI scale, go to edit, scroll down to preferences and click on it, select interface and adjust your UI scale on display, check the low left corner side and click save preferences. And for other tab to know what they really do, you can click here to zoom in and out, you click here to pan around, and this to switch to camera view, and this for perspective view, you can also rotate around with this. And here is the render tab, and those are the render properties, and you can switch to render engine here, cycles, EV and workbench. You can adjust settings like sampling, light paths, and performance to get the best results for your project. Here is object modifier tab, this is where you can create and manipulate objects in your scene. You can use modifiers to manipulate objects, and constraints to control how they interact with other objects. And also here is the output where to choose your output properties for your animation and renders format resolutions and aspect ratio. You can also change your camera aspect ratio here by adjusting the resolution size numbers. World tab. This is where you can adjust the environment and ambience of your scene. You can add backgrounds colors, HDRI, and others to create a more immersive atmosphere. Up next we have the physics tab. This is where you can simulate real world physics in your scene. You can use rigid body, soft body, and cloth simulations to create realistic interactions and movements. And up here you can find these tabs here like modeling. This is where you can create and edit 3D models using a variety of tools and techniques. We've got extrude, bevel, loop cut, and knife tools, just to name a few. Here we have sculpting. Some of the key sculpting tools include draw and flakes, smooth, and grab. These tools allow you to manipulate and shape your models in a highly intuitive and interactive way. To subdivide plane on Blender on Android, add new plane, go to object mode, and change to edit mode. Make sure you select the plane, click on edge and select subdivide. Then the low left corner you can increase the number of cuts. Animation tab this is where you can create and edit animations. You can use keyframes, action editors, and graph editors to control the movement and behavior of objects in your scene. Compositor tab this is where you can enhance and refine your final render. You can use nodes to combine multiple images, add effects, and color correction to create a polished final product. And that's a wrap. Subscribe to witness more tips on Blender on Android. We've explored few tabs in Blender and uncovered the secrets behind each one. Stay active. See you next time.